I have now finished Odd John with the science fiction masterworks, and it really is, because it's written by the genius that is Aloof Stapleton. One of the great and really undervalued science fiction writers, I think. Although he never really thought of himself as a science fiction writer. Always have a philosopher and a explorer of big ideas. Um, but okay, so Luke Stapleton's Odd John is, as the quote here says, a first Superman story and still by all odds the best. <laughs> and it really is. I mean... What I should say is it is about a super, a superhuman or homo superior, as Stapleton refers to them in the book, and it's it's less of a attack on the inferior qualities of the standard humans, us, and it's more of just a general exploration of what it would be like to be a human being with superior abilities and understandings and the odd or peculiar attributes and qualities and insights and actions that come with that. I mean, there are bits in the book where you do get a sense that Stapleton is having a bit of a dig at the general ignorance that is the human race, and one does sympathise. But on the whole, it is more a story of just... A superman, a supernormal human being who is basically realizes he is essentially the freak and is coming to terms with that. And through the course of the novel, seeks out others like him. And that's really where the story goes. They, they establish a colony as one and they attempt to survive as a colony. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's it's it's. In terms of a typical narrative, it's not overly complex, it has to be said. I mean, if if you want, you know, a, a novel with lots and lots of nuances, twists and turns, then this really isn't it. This is more just Stapleton using a framework to explore some ideas. And they are brilliant ideas. Um, but I think that, that adds to the odd quality of the book as a whole, the fact that it isn't your typical narrative with a clear-cut protagonist and antagonist and indeed John is in many ways the protagonist and antagonist if indeed you could argue he's also above and beyond that I mean there really is no there's the story is John's basically his existence and his explorations of being a supernormal in a, 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 a human civilization and you know it, it like Stapleton's other works uh, the other two the only other two I've read are his his master works star maker and last and first men seminal works in their own right and if you haven't read them then really you should because a projected history of the future of the human race and an overview of the whole of creation in a nutshell are what those books are about and they are astounding in their scope and I wasn't expecting as much from this one, and indeed while its scope isn't as broad as Star Maker or Last and First Man, it, it, on an individualistic um, basis, which is something that uh, the book actually does directly address and, and discuss in relation to communism, in that Luth Stapleton is saying in the book that John and the other super humans have progressed beyond communism and have reached a new state of individualism. I think in terms of an individualistic exploration, it has vast ideas and explorations and, and pronouncements on and speculations on what it would be like to be a, a superman and and like and and you get the sense that this book is one part of a a larger Stapleton universe. I mean there are oblique references to his other works, and in particular, right at the end, uh, the narrator notes that John has written a, an entire history of the cosmos, which, of course, Stapleton would publish two years later as Star Maker. So you, you get some nice winks and nods, and you do you do feel that you're entering the, the mind of a man who really was ahead of his time, and still is in many ways. Um, so, yeah, I mean, if you want a bit of science fiction that is less 
plot driven and more just heavy on ideas and exploring the individual and potentially where human humanity could evolve to then Odd John is definitely a good place to start um, and the thing with Stapleton is like me once you've read one one piece of his work you'll you'll probably want to seek out others so I would definitely recommend Star Maker and Last and First Man as well but Odd John, it's a nice, simple, easy place to start and um, definitely a good read.